Hello, this is Katie O'Regan. I'm the Artistic Director of the Star City Film Festival. And we're here this evening on this lovely, chilly fall evening. I'm in Wisconsin, not too far where we're having the Star City Film Festival at the Blue Harbor Resort, which is the most gorgeous, gorgeous place to have a film festival. It's going to be an elegant affair. I'm here with three very talented filmmakers. I have to tell you, um, I'm going to have them introduce themselves one at a time. Natalie, I'm going to start with you. But I must tell you, this is a short thrilling 10 minute black and white film and I just love it it's worth coming to the festival we have lots of amazing things at the festival um but I have to tell you I have this festival I was very choosy about picking uh for this festival this is our sixth season I had lots of entries and uh I only chose a select few because I want the audience to be all to be able to see the films and be very impactful and have talkbacks with these lovely filmmakers. So congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, you're most welcome. Natalie, please introduce, can you introduce the film, star of the film, and also uh, just tell us the name and, and introduce your, your wonderful, uh, the gentleman on the screen. Absolutely. So my name is Natalie Pellison and I am in Mal Adjustment. So it's a 10 minute short. Uh, it's definitely a thriller. There's suspense. It's, I think the way it's edited, the way it's shot, it's a little bit avant garde. It's unlike anything mm -hmm. that I've ever done. Um, I love that we had a female director, which you'll probably go into. Uh, and it was a really interesting experience. And I, I loved my character. And then when I've gotten to watch it back, I just <laughs> sounds wild, but I root for her. You're really great. Okay, who's gonna who's gonna give us a synopsis? Jeremy, give us the synopsis of the of the film. Sure. So it came about, or so the film is about a husband and wife that are quarantined together during a pandemic. So you know, total fiction. Um, <laughs> right. None Ooh. of us. None of <laughs> us had to go through that. To right, right. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and they slowly start to unravel in a way where the husband. It's about a husband and wife played by Natalie and Alan on the screen beneath me. And uh, Alan is um, let go of his job. He's furloughed. And Natalie is just starting a new job. So Natalie plays Abby. Alan plays Ben. Uh, and Ben just kind of, they slowly start to get on each other until um, enough is enough. I don't want to reveal the ending, but uh, yeah. It's scary. It's a very, well, you know, uh, before we talk, Alan, I, Alan, you did, you both, I mean, remarkable job, but I was Thank scared you. from the big, from the beginning. I was like, but you know, it's, it's film noir because it's, you know, it's, it, it's in that genre. It's black and white. It's hard to tell a great story in 10 minutes. And mm -hmm. I think you guys did a great job of it. I really do. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It was interesting You're because most it started out very different. Um, when mm -hmm. Alan and I first discussed the script, it was much more horror leaning and had a very violent ending originally that involved a lawnmower. Um, oh, this is yeah. better. No lawnmowers. This is yeah. the ending's better. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. And we um, we got so lucky with Natalie because she brought a completely different brevity to the character than what uh -huh. I had originally envisioned. Um, nice job, Natalie. Yeah, I, I, after bringing I it after bringing it. I think when we first talked about it, Alan, correct me if I'm wrong, but oh, I can't say this without spoiling it. You, the character of Ben, was was a lot more sympathetic in the original. You were more oh. sympathetic towards his fate than what it turned into, where mm. you're you're kind of rooting for natalie's character abby because ben kind of no. sucks yeah <laughs> alan how did you feel about the character first of all I, I, I just, whatever yeah sorry uh i'm alan rajambal and i played ben in the ben in our short and i wrote it with jay as well too but uh no i honestly it was i mean it was kind of a fun role kind of just being i don't know i don't know why like it was not it was a very interesting in the sense where i'm just playing this kind of just jerky lazy i mean kind of just 
I could care less kind of attitude. And yeah. it was kind of fun playing that, that in a no way. Where... Wants to be married to. Right. You're yeah, like, no. Right. Yeah, no. exactly. Just and, they don't uh... want to marry that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I mean it was kind of fun in that sense to really go on the other side of the spectrum of like just, you know, really being that type of a person and character. And it was kind of fun to do. Um, who, but who honestly, he totally is not in real life, by the way. He yeah. is an OCD <laughs> detail oriented, uh, yeah. very nice, nice outgoing person. What a nice <laughs> and sweet thing to say. But I, I'm glad to hear. I, yeah, I always like to hear, yeah. you know, I'm, it's all, you know, I'm a Pollyanna. I mean, I do movies and produce film festivals and, you know, so I, I believe in, you know, I believe in love and I believe in the goodness, but I also believe in great acting. And I think you did a great job of acting in it, you know? And so glad to hear because, because some people could play that role and that would be their stereotype. Mm -hmm. So, no, really. I I mean, I find that oddly enough, when I talk with people and interview people that people do get cast in stereotypes because it literally can be easier for the director to see that person in Mm. that part. Um, So I'm glad to hear that you're not that guy. (laughs) <laughs> I'm glad that you two didn't use them. Uh, oh, you all didn't use a lawnmower because it makes it much more believable. Yeah. Very good. How yeah, long did it a, take you? There's a running joke with Alan is that um, he has to die in every movie he's in. He gets killed a lot. Alan. It's you just, this, like, just the way see, that's been. my stereotype. I must just die well. Like I, <laughs> every, every role I'm in, I just, I, yeah, not to give away what happens, but you know, I, you guys just, uh, just, uh, not to give away. <laughs> okay. To go, I, I have a question. Alan, what other movies yeah. have you been in? Um, a gentleman that I know that lives up here, how we kind of met, he directed and, uh, um, uh, bone jangles was kind of like an 80s campy kind of a horror film in a way I, I um, but he cast me in that so i was in that and then i actually did a few other shorts there was a short that we shot actually out in minneapolis um it was part of like a uh horror anthology and that one is actually was at the horror film festival in london a few years ago um, okay. but that one was kind of fun to see out. And then there's been a few other random horror shorts and see, that's my thing. I never was really into horror. And then all of a sudden I've been in a few like, horror oh, and I was just typecast horror into star. horror. And, I yeah, I guess I, I love horror. So. <laughs> all right. Did you do theater? Have you done, um, theater? I did some theater. Yeah. Um, I liked theater and honestly, what got me into acting, I actually did dinner theater. I was in a Tony and Tina's wedding and I played Tony. Cause the truth is, I think I've seen you on stage before. How long did you do Tony and T? I lived in Chicago and Milwaukee, Hello, New York, Chicago, Milwaukee, Miami. But I, mm. I probably Tony and Tina. Probably well, I was like Tony and Tina's. We they shot it a lot. Like we did it in Sioux Falls, and then our group was I actually see. hired by like the off Broadway production, and we actually did it at a couple of casinos around Minnesota area as well too. Mm. Okay. But it was a lot of more corporate gigs where a lot of the big corporate parties would hire like the, our theater group and we would okay. do the dinner theater and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But that was fun. I loved doing that. I mean, the yes. interactive theater was super fun. I was, I had a blast. And then from that, like some, many other people's stories, how they got into acting. I just met one person that kind of knew someone else and I kind of fell into yeah. that. And then I started doing commercial work and then I started doing this and then it was just, yeah, the rest is kind of history. Excellent. Natalie, what about you? What's your, you're in LA. What part of LA? I'm in the Valley. The Valley. Cool. The valley. I say it's the area that I can be in and afford to live by myself. <laughs> Valley's lovely. I'm going, I'm going to be there on next Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Nice. I love that. It's a small world. It's just a small world, especially in the film business. It really is. Mm-hmm. But I, I yeah. really love it. I love it. it great. Mm-hmm. You think there's all this competition or all these people that do, and there's really not. Yeah. Not in the world. There, people aren't crazy enough like we are. We actually think that we can make living at this. Right. We're crazy. Life. You know, I want to throw a shout out to Natalie too, because she has a film being released theatrically. Oh, it's good. very exciting. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, I'm excited. So it's kind of a, 
newer to me i'm i'm delving into more voiceover so i have a, a film called glisten and the merry mission coming to cinemark theaters on november 3rd and it's like a oh really congratulations movie. yeah christmas movie um it's really interesting so it, i i love these types of movies um i actually love horror i love thriller i love you know, we never say the villain or bad guy because we aren't. We're right. We are right. just right. But I love those characters. But it is funny. I've I've kind of really been doing a lot of um, kids movies. Um, so good. nice balance. That's a oh, nice. Yeah. Ba it's good not to be stereotyped. You don't want to be just the woman that plays in the horror thing or just the woman <laughs> right. that plays in the Hallmark. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank good you. job. So I'm looking I'm forward. From, originally from Midwest. So I love that you came, that you're from the Midwest and you, and you moved to LA and you're doing your job. You rock. It's yeah. not, that's hard to do. It I've is. I've done it. It's hard to do. Yeah. You know, I, I yep. did theater for a long time and I did a musical theater and I was really, really blessed to, to do it uh, for years and regional contracts. And um, I don't know, I got like a little bug in my ear that maybe I would try LA. I had done some little films here and there and, and on camera projects and I enjoyed it. And I thought, you know what, why don't I just go and try? And so I had my last like big contract was in Alaska. So I drove from Alaska to California. I never see. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. And then I will say that, you know, the first couple of years were tough. It was tough. I learned a lot about life and myself and, um, you know, started getting a, a little bit of work here and there, but I, you know, I've learned to love it more. I've also grown, I've matured and I've, you know, learned the business and, um, you know, my worth and it's, it's just been, it's been really rewarding and I'm grateful to be here where there's a lot of opportunity and I get to meet wonderful people like all of you. Yeah. Great. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, how did you guys, how did you meet Natalie? Was it an audition or did you guys know each other? No, um, we, uh, started an audition process and it came down to two extremely talented actresses and we chose someone else originally um who ended up getting covid Good and, for covid thank yeah, you covid it was a wonderful <laughs> blessing for us that's Not, right nothing See, against the, the actress was great she didn't do i have nothing negative to say about her at all right. and, and but i called natalie and i i I can't remember the exact, but I think I gave you like a week's notice or something like, oh, we yeah. lost our lead. Do it was you like a couple wanna... days? Yeah. Was it? <laughs> and um, wow. our direct our director just loved her from the get. She oh nice. I can has... see why. Good. Yeah, she's a she's a team player. She has this confidence about her. She was asked to do some really difficult scenes of some emotional scenes um yeah. that i that i think also pushed alan out of his normal boundaries yeah. as well and it was just amazing to watch and 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 see them play off of each other and um yeah it was we were really lucky to get her and i think as she becomes this insanely famous actress she maybe right. will be the film she's embarrassed that she started out in way back oh. when <laughs> i i have to say it's just the the film is so i mean can you, you saw it um I saw it three times. Oh, I, lo I love oh, that. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> and I guess, you know, it can definitely go either way, but uh, I will say like myself and a lot of my female friends, it's really interesting. Uh, a lot of us have dealt with narcissistic partners and I just think mm -hmm. it is such a testament to that. And you just see yes. it and it's, it is. You, just, it's, it's scary. It's a scary, it's an intense film. It yeah, is for and those it's, watching. It's it's, it's I mean very, it's very realistic. It really is. And what's mm -hmm. so wild is like when you find yourself in that situation, it really just starts out as very small things that you wouldn't really, you know, maybe someone wouldn't really notice, but then it kind of builds from there and you don't know where where it could go. And now this word narcissist is really a, a word. I didn't really know what it meant until a few yeah. years ago. So I think it's it in the zeitgeist now, people. Yeah, people yeah, understand. It's, it's relatable. So that's what I think is really yeah. cool about this film. Mm -hmm. I think, too, it's interesting because uh, our director, this incredible woman, Anatasha Blakely, um, mm -hmm. I saw her film at the Los Angeles Film Fest or Screen Fest 
the year prior and i was she did this film called inch think thick knee deep and i was so blown away by it we ran up after her after the good uh, for you yeah and i i produce a podcast that's been going on for a long time so i said i really want to interview you i loved your movie we got to talking alan was on that interview and i think we mm. casually joked like oh it'd be you should come out and direct this movie you're writing and she's like okay she's like i'm in yeah so she liked but, you mm. She Keep had on. this, she had her own very unique vision of Alan and I's screenplay that she okay. saw immediately. And we, it wasn't initially what we had envisioned the tone of the film to be, mm -hmm. but her confidence in it and her love for the script, it was, I mean, we had absolute complete trust, but she even incorporated mm -hmm. stuff that we didn't think about. Like she made an intentional decision with the editing for sound to be something that starts ir irritating Natalie's character. And I saw, I, yeah, I recognize mm -hmm. that. That wasn't, very cool. uh, that wasn't Smart. an Alan and Jay thought, you know, that was all uh, Anatasha doing that. Um, and, and her partner, Jacob, uh, Jacob Sorling, who was our, our AD and one of the producer on the film as well. But it was just interesting when you collaborate with a group like that, Alan and I wrote it and produced it and he starred in it. So there was a lot of um, trust very very mm -hmm. early on and it, it was nice because i didn't we didn't we didn't feel like we had to protect what we thought it would be it was like oh where can uh, this go how cool can this be right mm -hmm. and that was i thought was so good about this project too is everyone collaborated so well with each other and that's what i love about sh even doing short films like this like you meet so yeah. many new people and all you're wanting to do is make something really awesome and no one felt or acted that they were better than anyone else or my way or highway kind of a situation. It was, I have this idea and everyone is just all open mind and all right, let's try that. And like, and everyone just did it and played their role so well. And Natalie working with her, I mean, like Jay said, like just leveled me up in my acting ability. I felt like, I mean, we just kind of played off each other. I felt like really well. And then also Anatasha directing and all of her intense and her love for the project itself too. It's like, I mean, it was just one really awesome time shooting it. I felt mean, and I felt like it showed that on screen too, that everyone, I mean, everyone had their hand in it. And it was just, it, it was just a really fun project to shoot. I, I really enjoyed it. That's, it's so nice to hear that. I love when people get along in, in their projects and you could tell definitely it does somehow come out, right? It's really cool. Mm -hmm. So even, you coming? can even see the passion in the cinematography too, the choices that, our very good cinematography. Sam Ott, yeah. You know, choosing to do it black and white, the way the, the way he would put the camera so that these two could just scream at each other, and it was it's very personal. Yeah, it really was, and mm -hmm. we, you know, we filmed it in a house we were we were moving out of very shortly after, so it was like, okay, this is gonna be the last hurrah, and then wow. I moved to Wisconsin. Yay! Well, we're happy you're in Wisconsin, we and you come to the film festival. I so am, you want to? Yeah. I want you to do a talk back okay. with the audience. Sure. Um, I'm, we're going to show it twice. We're going to show it. Um, so come Friday and Saturday. Um, mm. Yeah, uh, because Alan can't make it Friday. No, it yeah, awesome okay. if you're we were super Saturday hoping too. that it was. Yeah, Saturday I am. Too. I didn't give this. I didn't put the schedule for. Uh, so there's Friday. There's a Friday night schedule that I sent uh, to you guys. But there's there's mm. two there's two theaters that we're showing okay so the sure. second screening is not listed yet because i don't i want i have to work around uh, when people can come because i want i try really hard because i i love you guys it's my it's my passion to promote other independent filmmakers and i i try really That's hard awesome. to yeah. um to get you know you've seen and to comment your schedules because i know how difficult it is to get to well places. it's actually worked out i mean minus friday worked out really well because the same weekend I can't say it too loud because our kids are in the other room. Um, but we took them last year. We took them to Wicked in Chicago to Broadway. Oh, yeah. And the exact same weekend, we're going to Beetlejuice in Chicago Friday night. Oh, so awesome. we're already going to be in Chicago. So I'm like, oh, oh I hope it's going to be on Saturday. So we'll just yeah. drive up right no, we'll after. Do, we'll totally do it on Saturday. Oh, that would be awesome. In fact, Alan will like be available on Sunday, too, when we, we collect our award. <laughs> well, you are going to get a word, just so you know. I'm not telling you what it is, though. I think I think we should. I think we should get Natalie and her guy to come have a sleepover at the house, and we'll all go see it together. Uh, Natalie, are you coming? That. You should fly in. 
we are, it's going to be really fun first of all oh we i didn't to- mean to put you on the spot natalie i'm sorry <laughs> no i i would i would love to i did it's so funny i did show my i have a lovely a man in my life and I did show him this film and it was so funny I you know he's seeing my acting work and I said just you know this one's a little intense so just like yes. look at me don't look at me any differently but he, he really <laughs> enjoyed my work and wasn't scared so that was great that's good that's mm-hmm. wonderful and my you wife and make... kid love Natalie too so you know they'd be oh <laughs> that's so sweet yeah, Natalie Paula. you should come it's great yeah. optics when yeah. you see the blue harbor go online and look at the blue harbor it's like literally um, I'm, you know, the producer and the director of the festival. So I, I'm spending much more on this festival, be- but the venue is so beautiful and you'll be so proud when you have your film shown there in the red carpet. And, uh, you know, we have a band, a live band on Saturday nights Yay. and, um, oh yeah, it's a thing. We have the Dale Penglis and Steve Blackwood from days of our lives are coming. Wow. We're doing a live show for the red carpet. Teo is going to, to recite this amazing poem, I mean, his, and he's, I mean, he's, he's two Emmys, you know, yeah. he's brilliant, brilliant. 40 years on daytime Mission Impossible star, Steve Blackwood, 10 years in Days of Our Lives. And they have never been live on stage together to reunite after they've been on Days of Our Lives. So this is a thing. Uh-huh. So it's going to be the red carpet Saturday. And, and then Steve's going to sing. I'm going to sing. There's a dance performance and a live band. And it's, it's, it's a ball. It's a, it'll be, it's a, it's really a ball. It looks like a ballroom. So it's a very special, the tickets are a little more, I mean, compared to other film festivals, but it's, it's so expensive to have it at this place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. Um, but that being said, someone from you, you, someone gets a free ticket and, you know, if someone doesn't want to go to the red carpet, then they, you could just see the films. It's just $45. Mm-hmm. Um, if your kids come, they can come for free. Oh, that's cool. Ellen, yeah, yeah, of course you're, you know, I don't want to charge your kids if you're. Yeah, my my 10 year old wants to go so bad, but um, because she was there when we filmed it and the director was so sweet. She let my daughter direct a scene. She could come for free. I want to. I'm such a sucker for kids. I have kids performing. There's there's this beautiful um, dance. It's a a premiere song that I wrote, and we're going to do it at the red carpet. And and there's two younger girls in there, and they'll be beautiful. So. She I'm just worried there's, that there's going to be like some super violent film, some scary film or something, and she's going like to forget about it. Like yours? I, I mean, there's no blood in mine. <laughs> you know, she's, <laughs> no she's, she, um, Alan's there's kids are you, a lot braver with scary movies than my daughter. You know what you can do? Um, I normally, I'm, I'm, I'm very funny. There's a lot of, um, there's plenty that aren't violent or scary. Okay. So I can give you if you want to, um, I don't think that there are any. There's no bloody. Oh, okay. Well, then there's no bloody. Then I'm fine. Then I'm fine. No lawnmower. Yeah, there's no. No lawnmower. Big baby. <laughs> I barely like even. I swear to God, I, I'm not. A, I didn't become a horror. Fan. I only like really amazing horror films. I, I'm not a. What's your favorite one? My favorite horror film. Mm-hmm. I. They're all independent films that are my favorite ones. Probably one that you've never. Um, M. R. Fitzgerald is uh, a filmmaker that's been, I think, in every film festival of mine. This is the sixth one so far. She's an amazing writer, and she has a couple that are just remarkable. She's coming. I think she's coming to film festival. She has one. Uh, it's a very this, and this one isn't a horror film that she oh. has. It's a little short, cool, very interesting art film. But she usually does horror she, horror writing. She wins in all kinds of festivals for her horror writing. So she's mm. she's my. What's your favorite horror film? Do you have one? Uh, I'll let ladies first, Natalie. <laughs> oh. one? You don't. I don't have to put anybody on this. I'm, I'm, not I'm so bad on about having one, but I just did. It's not film, but I did just rewatch Haunting of Hill House, and it's just so good. I love it. Yeah. I I like um I like really I love art films, so I consider you more of a not a horror film, more of an art film. Mm-hmm. more of a psychological more of a thriller kind of mm-hmm. um, yeah we we found that in submitting it where yeah. alan and i were like is this still a horror movie are, are we i, I wouldn't yeah. say i would call it a thriller like a not thriller a thriller drama almost a thriller drama that's what the category that i would that i put it in in my mind mm-hmm. um i like i have this really uh amazing the category that i I really love uh in the star city film festival i have a category for autistic filmmakers or or stories about autism. I saw that. Uh, That's so cool. 
And we get some amazing films, amazing films in that category. I thought it was great that you did have a veteran category too. Ellen and I were excited to see that. So, Mm -hmm. and 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 I also have it on Veterans Day, you know, November eleventh. Yep. So we have two vet movies that are that we're showing on Saturday, which is really cool. It's it's nice because it comes full circle for Ellen and I. We met in basic training. You did. Yeah, in Georgia, and we we've never lived close to each other in the. 15 years of our friendship but um now living together our kids have grown up together our wives have grown together and so to so do great. this to accomplish this together and see it in the theater together on veterans day and my birthday is mm-hmm. the following weekend it's a pretty exciting it's pretty rad so we'll do um that given the case then we'll do yours closer to um red carpet time on saturday okay. um, and then Alan, you can make that, right? Yeah. Later in the day? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Great. Perfect. Because I'm showcasing um, another female veterans uh, short film. She's wonderful. You'll meet her. She's amazing. Um, Natalie, I'll bring a tablet and FaceTime you, and I'll just put your face around so you can give her. (laughs) Now I really want to come. I'm going to look into it. Look into it. We'll see. You should come. If you come... Even though normally there's one free ticket for film, you, I'll give you a ticket for free to come. Oh, yeah. You can. There you go. <laughs> no pressure. Oh, there's, there's a little baby girl barking. There's my little corgi. Oh, she, Lacey, come here, baby. She hears something, something at the door. Um, Lacey, na- the, the Lacey Awards are named after Lacey. Oh, right. Uh, my little corgi. Oh, I love that. She comes, she comes to the awards. She's really funny and she sits and watches. And then when everyone applauds, she barks. It's very funny. I love corgis. She'll be there. She's in my movie that where my feature film that I just did too. She, they're like little humans. They're like you know, I love dogs in general, but she's 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 oddly human. She's she knows we're talking about. She's just looking at me like this. Yes, mama. <laughs> Good girl. You're a baby. Yeah, go girl. Um. So yeah. So Saturday we're um, we're showing it on Friday, but then we're also showing it on Saturday and we'll do a talk back and um, it'll be right before the, so we'll work it out. So I'm so glad that we did so we could, you know, talk about it. And that's a cool story about your basic training too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And Jay, not to make us sound older, it was actually 20 years ago, not 15. Yeah. 20 years next year. (laughs) Who cares? Age, who cares? Whatever. Age is just a number. Age is totally. Exactly. Yeah. And our director is younger than all of us. She, mm-hmm. she, it's shocking how talented she is at her age. Is mm-hmm. isn't it funny? Yeah. Once again, you know, people get underestimated because they're too young, and they get underestimated because they're too old, and that's that's all bad on us as society. It's just it's silliness. I right? had no idea who I was at her age, and she comes in a room, and it's like, wow, she's got yeah. it figured out. Well, you, I wish she could come too. That'd be great. Where does she live? Anastasia. They're gonna they're gonna be uh they just moved back to LA. They got into Scream Fest, so they're doing LA Festival. Yeah, Scream Fest. Very cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, very so nice. Two, two years in a row for her, so that's really exciting. That's very exciting. What yeah. Definitely okay. check out her movie though. If you like independent horror that is really well done, it's oh. called Inch Thick Knee Deep. And you can I was like, watch I was looking at that on on your website. Yeah, I think you can submission. see it on um on YouTube now. Oh, can you? Okay, because I, I, I'm sure I've seen. I've, because I, I remember the title of that, so I don't know if I've seen it already. But I'm going to check it out again. You know, you guys, it was such a pleasure to talk to you. It was so nice to, yes. to meet you, and we're, um, and we get to see you at the film festival, which is great. So everyone's watching. Please look excited. for these guys and and Natalie. If if we want you to come, but it, if you can't for some odd reason, that's okay. We have you here with us now, and um. And, and watch uh, out because this girl's going to take over Hollywood. I believe you. I believe you. You were a phenomenal actress in this movie, in this very, very wonderful thriller of a short. So I think job. she froze because I don't think she can hold a smile that long. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, Natalie. Can you hear us? Anyway, we are going to um, sign off and I will send yeah. you a, a, you know, a copy of this, put it on. Facebook and Instagram and wherever you want to do it. And um, God bless. Peace. And I will see you soon. Thanks for having us, Katie. We look forward to meeting you much.
Bye, Frozen Natalie. Bye, Frozen, Bye, Frozen Natalie. Natalie. She's so cute. At least it's a pretty picture, but she's not going. Yeah, like it was. It. Yeah, it was a good one. All right. Bye, Katie. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.